Buenos dias mi gente. Good morning people. We are doing a walk here around the Malcon and Romantic Zone area. So we're gonna take you along this morning so I can show you what's happening. It's pretty early in the morning, but um, let's see. Let's see how this walk goes. Lots of people everywhere here. Definitely no parking. Had to park at our hotel. And it looks like it's gonna be a sunny day. It's been gloomy and cloudy the past two, three days. Oh, look, they brought all the Krispy Kremes to like different locations already here in Vallejo. It's the first one I see, hope so. Okay, so quickly before we get to all the exciting parts, just wanted to come and update you guys on why I haven't been uploading recently. I actually fell and hurt myself and I could barely walk. So for me to be out here and doing this walk is very exciting for me because I got fitness goals and also I get motivated when I walk here. It, it makes me excited to live here. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. My parents to eat breakfast at the restaurant. My parents are visiting right now and I haven't really been able to do much because of the same thing I had fallen. Couldn't get out of the house. But hopefully now we can do more things. I actually do remember using You want to borrow my glasses on us? That's a big bowl right there. What in the world? Wow. Y'all can't see it, but it's huge. into the big got some people about paddle boarding over there paddle boarding yep. yeah right <laughs> am i saying the right one who even is in that crazy job i don't know I 
like you always say that when we pass through. <laughs> I like it. We eat at home a lot. What the heck? What? I was like, what are those? They're the, the, the bags. I don't think they're very comfortable. Oh, look. They're like all short. Yeah, and that, that looks weird. Like your feet are going to hit the wood. Oh, well, you're tall, probably. It was an interesting idea, though. <laughs> Oh. One of my friends, but she's a Mexican. She's like, oh, I really like this song. The thank you. She surprises me with her choice of music. This is the Lazaro Cardenas tile part super cute let's take pictures we have a fitness group that's taking a break right now okay. i think it's like a zumba they always do like dancing there's also events here mm, on the weekends sometimes and that this is where also the Olas altas farmers market is on saturday morning my parents said that they came here to the market. They were all excited. I like doing this walk because it like reminds me of all the things I like about Vallarta and then I get excited again. Then also makes me meditate and, and have great ideas. Because <laughs> it's getting me fit, I hope. Oh, look at this puppy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like that idea. I think it's time. Same thing happens to me. It's overwhelming. Except the email waiting for it never comes to me. I overruled myself. And then it makes you like not see the emails that are important. We have quite a few people walking here early in the morning. Okay, so. Let me just cut something real quick. Um, it's supposed to be winter here till about, what, March maybe? Like, by February, January, February. Obviously today is February 1st. I feel like the winter is gone. <laughs> it's not even cool anymore like normally it is in the morning or in the nighttime. It's just warm. Well, it's not hot, but it's just warm. It's not like how it normally is, like in the 70s, uh, Fahrenheit during the day. So that's a little, a little sad because I do like the cooler weather. But anyways, that's that. Oh, right here you can kind of see the mega yacht over there. I think. And I'll try to see if I can zoom in. I don't really 
seeing any wells from my house anymore. Usually we can see a few if they're like in front. Everybody has been staying at the Via, at the Del Mar has been staying at the Via. There's a bunch of everything. Yeah. Maybe we just haven't been paying attention. Yeah, probably. I want to start going up the, there's like a lookout over there, Mirador Cruz, I think it's called, um, through downtown. I think I'm going to start doing that in the mornings so I can add more fitness. It would be nice to go up there too in the evening for sunset. There's another group, it looks like yoga or something, exercising. Is it what happens is since it's the high season, a lot of the people that come here for like two, three months or whatever, then they come and like they do their classes, their instructors. And then since there's a lot of people here, they're American, Canadian, or other, they do their classes, which is kind of cool. I'm Did you know this is where um, Maida and Mario got married? Us? They had their wedding there. Some of our friends. all the way to there's a McDonald's and that is the start of the Malikon which actually we're coming the other way so this is already the start of the Malikon and then the Malikon is at the McDonald's Mike's gonna go get a haircut and I'm gonna go walk back I'm gonna walk back to the car maybe get a wash or Jenny says that all the beaches on the other side and I are real nice. Oh, well, what? And calm. Really, really nice and calm. That's funny because I like the camera. Yeah, she was showing me and then they did look pretty, like on the pictures. So we here on this side, it's been a little rough. The waves. waves this is the exciting part of this part of the walk you get to hear the waves the wind blows at you if there is wind <laughs> I know Mexico was the cheapest one. Thank you. Uh, I know Mexico. 
and it was uh, it would leave at six in the morning. It had like a long layover in Mexico. But they said it was fourteen hours travel, but the other ones that were like more expensive, a little bit more, like a thousand pesos more. They were in Mexico, and then you arrive like in the nighttime in Hermosillo. I was like, oh, well, maybe we can just go and like visit Sin and all that or something. Yeah. Also more friends that we have in Mexico City. Right here's the little cute sign from Puerto Rico. You often take pictures of it. They wanted to do this walk and record it like during the golden hour when the light is like really nice. It's about to be the sunset, but it's been like cloudy all these days. We're gonna continue to try though. It's not that cheap because it's just like a you know like it's not like a real popular destination or whatever I guess. I don't know. It was going to cost like 130 bucks to, to do Southwest, plus we use like Our points, points, yeah. So 150 bucks is, I would say it's about a watch. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we can do with everybody, you know? Mm-hmm. And also, I don't know, we would have to take the bus or something. Yeah. Something's happening over there, it says Bienvenidos Over there in the little square in front of the church What's happening, I don't know Was it a book fair? Oh yeah, there's, there is a book fair, okay, there might be that There's a book fair Oh, and we have free Wi-Fi now all throughout the Malecon in different areas of the city, which is a big improvement. You'll see the signs everywhere. Free Wi-Fi. a little bit further a little bit more towards the front All they do is like stack up the rocks, call it like the stone artist, and they receive Look tips. All oh, real little ones. Yeah. That's cute. They'll tell me something if I'm like taking pictures or <laughs> video and we don't give them money. I don't have any coins. Look at the little old man with his hat. He looks cute. With his little suspenders. <laughs> That's cute.
why we have a truck going through the walkway of the pedestrians. I don't know. Man, I guess this year everybody's like bit light because I see a lot of people here. <laughs> Running, walking, exercising. This is the year to be fit. And I feel like it's a little humid. You do? A little bit. A little bit. Well, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes you don't feel it. Anyways. Nice, I think it's hot. Well, I'm sweating, so. But. I guess it's a workout, right? If you're sweating, it's good. Burning calories. All these businesses don't start opening until about 10. It's 9.30 right now. Right here we have a variety of different stores. Uh, with souvenirs, with normal clothing, sunglasses, other stuff. Tequila, we have restaurants. Right here we have like three famous clubs. right here straight ahead you guys can see that is the lookout that I'm talking about you guys can hike make another video going up there oh, we should have took the bikes I know I was thinking about that but since I wanted to record the video I don't have the little thing so that the GoPro could, could uh, stick to the bike yeah. Yeah. We have three bikes. I don't know if they have bikes. Fair says she has a bike. Who? Fair. Then we can invite her. Grecia. Grecia, too. Trying to start a bike club here with our friends, motivate each other. This is the official bike lane, so you don't want to cross that area. Stay on the right side or stay all the way to the left. Right here we have the Choco Museum. It's like a chocolate museum where you guys can do classes. It's like different classes where you guys can do truffles and different types of chocolates. It's kind of cool and entertaining if you have kids. It's like right here. That little store is cute. It's like uh, very catchy, eye catchy, colorful.
the open over here? We did. Oh, oh yeah. I wasn't having too much business over there. So if you guys are walking around here and wanting to use the restroom, look, straight ahead, that's a little sign you kind of go down and then the restroom's right there. That's one spot. There's another one, we passed it. The little Arcos, little stadium, kind of, I guess, the big they call, by the Puerto Vallarta sign. There's some restrooms there too. Good Cuban food, good live music right here. Every day. And we are coming towards the end of this walk. Okay, I waited a little bit to get out of that area. Now I'm going back <laughs> to my car, left mic so you can go get a haircut. Um, that drilling noise is crazy. And the crazy part is the people here don't use like anything to protect their ears. It's on another level. But anyways, it's been a while since I've made an actual video of walking through here at night. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because I will be uploading more information on Vallarta. And yeah, stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys for joining me on this walk. I hope you enjoyed it. As you guys can see, the sun is fully out. We're gonna have a beautiful sunny day here in Puerto Vallarta. And thank you guys for joining me. See you in the next video.